Hi everyone, recently I have come across a question. Is it possible to select multiple items from a drop down menu without pressing the drop down button a couple of times? To achieve this, we might want to use a list box. In this video, I use the list box under form controls. Let's insert at the desired location, then click on properties. Since we allow users to select more than one item, select multi as the selection type. If the input range is always fixed, then we can add the range directly to this field. Otherwise, we need to make use of VBA code. Firstly, convert this range to an Excel table by pressing Ctrl T. Enable the option for my table has headers and click on OK. I prefer table with the name following the header. Next, press on alternate F11 to open the Visual Basic Editor. Navigate to the desired worksheet. From the list of objects, select Worksheet. Use the Selection Change event. Since I'm using a table to create the list, I must set a variable, say LO, to be the list object and reference the table name. Use an if statement to ensure that the list box is shown only when needed. Use the intersect function to check if the selected cell is within the desired range. Let's say the entire column C. If it is nothing, then I will hide this list box. To do so, let's call the list box with the correct name and set the visibility to false. Since I'm going to reference this list box a couple of times, let's make use of the with statement. With the statement, I can reference the list box instantly with just a dot. Use else when it is not nothing. To avoid the list being added repeatedly, let's remove all the items first. Let's make it visible. If you want the list box to move together with the target cell, we need to change the top and the left values. The top value should be the same as top value of the target cell. Use the offset function with a column offset of 1 to reference the cell on the right. Create a for loop with a variable i to iterate from the first row to the last row of the table using listRoots.count property. Reference the list box with a dot to add an item. To avoid a type mismatch arrow, remember to convert the selected row to a range. Finished one row, continue to the next. Start with if and end with if. End the with statement using and with. The visibility of the list box now depends on the selection chain. Now, let's write the code to assign the selected items to the cell. We need two public variables. One, I use it to record the cell address of the previously selected cell, while the other is for the current cell. We can use any lattice that we like. Take note that the cell address is a string. In the event, then let the previous cell be the current cell, with the current cell being the selected cell. Therefore, if the previous cell is empty, then the previous cell is the current cell. End this if statement with an if. Before assigning the selected items to the cell, use an if statement to count the number of cells selected. We can use the count large property. If users selected more than one cell, I decided to assign this event. Start with if and with if. Now, within the with statement, use a for loop to run through the list box. Use a variable, say i, to run from the first item to the last, that is, to the list count. Use an if statement to check if the item is selected, that is, with a true value. Then use the range function to assign the items. Since this is a selection change event, always return the value 
to the previous cell. I need a delimiter since multi selections are allowed. Therefore, I need a variable to perform head count. Use an if statement. If the number of items selected is greater than 1, then the value assigned is equal to the previous value and the new value. Use an ampersand to join with the delimiter if any. Use else if it is only one item. And this if statement with an if. Remember to unselect the items once it is assigned to the cell. Start with if and with if. Finish one item, continue to the next. The coding part is now done. Let's go back to the spreadsheet to see the result. If I select one item, when I move to the other cell, the value is assigned automatically. Let's try it for two items. I obtain the desired result. This also works for more items. The advantage of using an Excel table is that when a new item is added, the list will be updated automatically as we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Wish you a wonderful day and this is Asim.